Two men were shot at a Pee Wee football game last night. Alexis Martin is now live outside of UC Medical Center with new information about the victims for us. Alexis. I spoke with the president of the Cincinnati United Football in Cheerley. He tells me that it was a parent and a coach who were shot last night. He says that the coach has been released from the hospital, but the parent is still in the ICU behind me. Down here in the uh, corner of the end zone, I guess the game ended, fight broke out, and there were shots fired. You just heard police radio traffic describing the shooting at a Pee Wee football game where two men were shot. Milan Lanier, president of Cincinnati United Youth Football and Cheer League, tells me the game right before the shooting was the Evanston Bulldogs and the West End Elite Royals. The players were 11 and 12 year olds. Lieutenant Shantia Miller with CPD says an argument led to the shooting, which happened around 730 at the end of the game. Many young kids were at the game and witnessed the shooting. I spoke with Mitchell Morris, who works with youth to end gun violence. He says it's important after violence like this, they feel supported. Talk to them, bring them in, reach out to some of the trauma centers, people that's around that's doing this type of work to talk to those kids, bring them in, hug them, and, and let them know there's nothing they did wrong. Morris says after Sunday night's shooting, it's also important to support the coaches who are working to help young kids be involved in something positive. We talking about kids at a peewee football game, right? So you know you hear about all these horrible, horrible things, but I have to inspire and tell and salute those cheerleader coaches, those football coaches, for the work that they do every day, day in and day out and guiding these kids in the right direction. Police say after the shooting, the suspect ran away. CPD says they are following leads right now. The full statement from the league is on fox19.com. Now, if you have any information about the shooting, you should contact CPD or Crime Stoppers. Those numbers are also on fox19.com. Live in Coryville, I'm Alexis Martin, Fox 19 Now. The 